Hello boys and girls. The other day I dug out an old radio of mine. It's this one. It's a military radio, Klansman RT320 I believe it is. Very nice radio. Built like a brick outhouse. I've given it a new cut, I've repainted it and uh, the only problem with this radio is that it runs on 24 volts. It's not really a problem but it's it's not very convenient when most people have a shack power supply which is usually 12, 13 and a half volts. So I've built this this battery eliminator on the side here. It was an, an original Klansman battery but I've took all the insides out and uh, mounted a, a DC to DC converter in it. Oops. Um, this shows the, the red is the output voltage underneath in blue you've got the current and I can switch with this little slider switch here I can switch to the input voltage which is 50 uh, 12.5 volts and the output is tw set at 25 volts so I'll show you what's inside there just unplug it and unclip it Take the top off with one hand and see what we've got inside. There you are. We've got the DC to DC converter there, which will go from from ten and a half volts input to mm, gosh, I can't remember thirty volts, is it? But it's, it, this is a a 400 watt power supply. It's a bit overkill for this job, but uh, they're as cheap as chips, you know. £6.99 ready made. It's got uh, voltage adjustment and current limit. Here we've got a, a DC uh, input protection diode, idiot diode, and the uh, the digital meter there which again cheap as chips from China so you can feed that from your 12 volt shack power supply and get well you can get whatever you set it at in this case it's set at uh, 25 volts so there you have it that's what I've been playing around with one other little modification I did to this Klansman. It doesn't have an aerial socket on it so if you want to connect a coax cable to it you've either got to disconnect this this bridge on the side and plug it into this BNC socket here but unfortunately then you haven't got access to the built-in antenna tuner. So all we've got here is an angle bracket with the BNC socket mounted on top, a bit of wire which plugs into this uh, aerial connector here. So if, if you're using a long wire you can connect it into there. The whip aerial plugs into there and you've got that BNC there if you want to use it. So there you are. Thanks for watching.